What's good, you too? Welcome back to another powerful message. You know what I'm saying? Greasy ganger, don't bang it is what it is. Now let's get right into the main topic of what we're about to talk about. So it struck me, as you can tell from the title, that a lot of people out there are really talking about defunding the police. What? You heard me. Defunding the police. Oh my God. Now, unless I didn't get the memo, uh, do y'all live in Gotham City or something? Huh? Y'all got All Might on call? He's in y'all's headquarters or what? Because when people start forming alliances and the Akatsuki starts coming down the street, what you gonna do? Huh? Defund? Unless y'all shooting like this, roll the clip. Roll the clip. Yeah, didn't think so. Ain't nobody shooting like that. And guess what? Even if you are, even if you are, can your neighborhood shoot like that is everybody in your neighborhood trained in not only cpr but first aid you know what i'm saying type experience if someone gets shot does everyone know where to place their hands properly to stop the bleeding bandage and bandage and heal the wound are y'all soccer room? huh because last time i checked ain't nobody got healing powers and if you're not trained in these type of things, why are we defunding people who can protect us? That makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? What I believe y'all want to say or feel or failing to say is you want police reform, which we the people have in power to do. All we have to do is bond together as a community, get right with our political power people, let them know what's good, and start making some changes. Ready, go. Small step at a time. Once you get the communities right, then we can get the country right. We all know there is a problem with police brutality. But y'all have to understand. Get that sweat off me. Y'all have to understand. The way the system is set up, it has the police doing all types of work that puts them in situations to where they're human too, okay? They're breaking down from the inside out. We need to reform the police and only use them in time of need when it comes to actual crimes. When your car gets broken into your house, when you got people fighting, things that are physical that cops can actually help, that's what we need to do to get the police to come investigate. Anything else that deals with um, marriage problems, you know what I'm saying? Spousal abuse. <clears throat> Just... A whole, there's a, so many problems out there. Like, it's just running through my mind. Like, I can't even think of all of them. But a lot of problems can be fixed with professional counselors. Rehabilitation. There's so many other outlets that we can use to help the community. To call them. Bring them out here. Bring psychologists out here. A lot of stuff that police are called for are deal with crazy people. What's the police going to do with them? Just arrest them. They don't need to be arrested. Sometimes they do. But you know what I'm saying? For the most part, these people need help. They need somebody to talk to. They need somebody to vent to. They need somebody who specifically specifies in the psychology of the human brain. If that's the type of help they need. We need more people in the community to help besides just the police. And that's why there's so much brutality. Because the police is called for every little thing. 
And when the police come out here, they're still human. Whatever they've been dealing with for 8 to 12 hours on their shift that deals with every little problem, they going to do some stuff that's not supposed to be done legally. They probably going to kill somebody innocently and be guilty for it. Now, I'm not saying I feel sorry for the police when it comes to stuff like that. Because nobody forced them to become a cop. They knew what they were signing up for. It's a contract. And they knew what comes with the job. But what I am saying is as a community, we need to get smarter. Build our own Avenger squad. Not just saying the community, but I'm just saying like we need to get racial inequality out of the police system the best we can. We need to make the law state that justice is really for all not just a few races because if we have this racial inequality going on within the justice system that's not justice for all that's justice for some wow. and if y'all really want to represent the flag that's what you're going to do you're going to stand up for all not for white people, not for Mexicans, not for blacks, not for Asians, but for all, any and every race. Because we're in 2020 and America is supposed to be a diverse country moving forward. And y'all want to take down statues? Look, if y'all want to take down statues, then put up statues of people who actually helped for all. Such as Steve Jobs, Kathy Williams, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? Even though those two I just named at the end were black freedom fighters, they still fought for equality at the end of the day, which is for all people. Look, man, y'all ain't trying to hear me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not trying to hear me. But look, I'm going to leave y'all on this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I know y'all love this message. And I love you guys too. So share this video as well. Hit the notification bell, and I'm going to see you on the next Powerful Message.